Hello, I'm David. Custom Lego minifigure review from Mini Bigs. If you want to check my other videos, click right up here or links will be down below. This is another new minifigure. Um, it's been out for a little bit, just finally getting to it. Um, it's uh, Macklin, Burt Macklin to be um, exact. This is the sticker that came with it. Good size sticker. An, an awesome artwork. I believe it was designed by Citizen Order, I want to say. Um, but he did a great job with the stickers. You can see Mini Bigs right here. Of course, links will be down below. Set that down. Um, so I got the minifigure and a couple misprints, so we'll go over the minifig first. So it's uh, Bert, Tyrannosaurus, Rex, Macklin, who is based off of, um, it's the alter ego of Andy Dwyer from uh, Parks and Rec, I believe. I have yet to watch Parks and Rec, but um, he's done another Parks and Rec character already, which I've reviewed already. Get these legs open as well. So I got the full minifig, and then I got two misprint uh, pairs of uh, pants. Uh, he does come with a Lego suitcase. It's just a regular Lego suitcase, nothing, nothing crazy about it. But here is the minifig, and it matches the artwork very well. Um, but he's played by Chris Pratt uh, in the series. The sticker is focusing on that. There we go. So you can see starting his hair. Uh, they used a um, Mini Bigs used a great hairdo for this. Um, I'd say this is the closest one you can get to for um, the character himself. He got the uh, big shades for him, and the little glare in him is nice. A little sheen to him, you can see. Uh, he does have the beard uh, stubble growing, and then you can see kind of like an angry, uh, teeth clenched uh, look in the mouth. And I like that the glasses go all the way to the hair. It shows up really well like that. Nothing on the back of the head, so I can leave the hair on. Coming out to his chest torso, so the character wears an FBI jacket. So, you know, like you see a lot of shows with the characters uh, wearing the FBI jackets. And it does have it on the back. A little FBI right here on the left uh, upper chest. You can see the collar to the jacket. He does have a button-up yellow shirt with a tie on and some stripes on the tie. Uh, pockets on the jacket, a little bit of wrinkles as well because it's opened up. Coming down further, uh, no printing on the waist, but there is printing on the legs. You can see two pockets right here on the upper legs. Nothing in the uh, middle or knee area. And then the front of the shoes. Because he wears nice shoes as the character. So you can see the, the front of them, a little bit of gray around them. Coming to the side. Uh, no printing on the side of the arm, it looks like. Got to make sure. Yep, so no printing on the side of the arm. Flesh tone, flesh tone hands. Uh, no printing on the side of the body or waist. And nothing really on the upper legs, but you can see the side of the shoes look really nice. I like these tennis shoes. A little N on them right there as well. Coming to this side, same. Same thing. No printing on the arms, body, waist, or upper legs, but you do have the shoes on the sides. Flesh tone hands, of course. And then coming to the back of the minifig, of course, you get the big FBI logo on the back of the figure, just like the jackets would show in either real life or movies or shows. You can see a little bit of a collar as well there. And there is no printing on the back of the uh, waist or legs. These are printed by CB, if you didn't know. But uh, overall, a great character to add to the collection, of course, to the Parks and Recs characters. I'm hoping to see more soon. Uh, but overall, an awesome minifigure, and I'm super happy to have gotten him. Um, I believe um, on the on uh, Minibig's website, it's only misprints that are left. Uh, but I will link that down below, and I still think you can get some parts, maybe some heads and stuff like that. And then here you go, you can see him holding his briefcase, or suitcase. I think it's a briefcase. Put him on the uh, base plate. And now we will show off the two different colors of legs. So, um... The figure that, uh, the color he comes with is dark gray, I believe. So I got the dark blue, which actually matches the jacket, I believe. Yes. Uh, but you can see still the pockets are on the upper part, front of the shoes, or on the feet area. And then to the side, of course, you can see the shoes. I do like that the printing for the um, N is matching colors with the pants. I actually didn't notice that at first when I was checking this out. 
it matches the gray on here and then it matches the blue with this figure or these legs at least and same as this side and that must mean that the uh, dark tan legs see pockets again in front of the shoes coming to the side and the end is dark tan but overall some uh, cool misprints I plan on using these legs for some figures that I have um, just some um, cool fig barfs that I want to do um, so I'm happy with these I should have got a couple misprint heads uh, like I said they're still on so I could probably grab a couple if I want to but um, an awesome minifigure, like I said, adding to the Parks and Recs collection uh, is fun and cool. Uh, like I said, hoping to see some more minifigures from that uh, series that he's going on right now. Um, but uh, be sure to check out my minifigs videos right up here. I'll link to down below. And be sure to check the links down below. Like I said, there's misprints and misprint figures, I believe. Um, links will be down below. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already liked the video. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.